Hey guys, welcome back to the part 65. Okay, so, Stacy Finley, here we go, class of 20, 2001. Okay, so, alright, so what is your name and what's your graduation year? My name is Stacy Finley and I graduated in 2001. Alright, um, were there any major historical moments that you ever remembered from your high school career? Oh goodness, uh, YA2K. That was a big thing at the end of 1999. That was a big thing. Everyone, like, stocked up on water, and they thought they was going to be a big thing when it became two, 2000s, but obviously it didn't. Um, so when you went to school here, was the, what, what was the atmosphere like? Basically, like, who, who did you hang out with, or what, was it strict? Like, things like that? It was not strict. It was a part of the hot HIP program, which I don't know if they still have that, but basically it was block scheduling. It was the same group, like 100 kids that were in this program. So we would just basically travel classes together. So you really got to know these kids very well. And it just seems like everyone was just really friends and really friendly with everyone. And the teachers were all pretty nice. And yeah, just really laid back after this year. So, there, is there something that you enjoy most of everything in high school? Something that comes in mind? Um, I would say, um, Dennis Len Lenzi's class, English class. I had him for two years, just exposure to literature and writing. It was just a good experience. I always wanted to love and read. I, I always loved reading and always loved to write. And now, actually, for my career, I write, I write grants. So no, not everyone that likes to write, not everyone that loves to write ends up writing books. They can write other things. And so I can, I think, just helping develop me as a person just outside of school, just but just helping me like exploring, exploring some of those interests. So when you went, when you went here, was there a rivalry between North and East? Um, I guess, I guess there was, but I really feel like my age group, we went, uh, we went, uh, we were, uh, friends with kids in the East, and I don't remember being to football, being a, being a huge spun, be, being a huge sport then. So I just remember being friends with kids from North and East, but I would just say during the basketball season, yes, there was a rivalry, but otherwise I wasn't, I don't think I was a big deal as it, it is currently. But always having a good time to play at East at any kind of sport. So obviously, were you talking about your favorite classes? Was what was your was that your favorite teacher that you ever had? Yes. So I really like Dennis Lindsay. I also like Mr. King. He was my social studies economics teacher, and I just remember Mr. King as well as kind of almost preparing us become because of our junior and your senior year, you're preparing to go to college and preparing to be adults. I, feel, I really feel like he kind of gave exposure to all the things, like, you know, picking a major in college, what you could expect with those salaries, what your lifestyle will be like. He also talked to us about liking, like, buying your first car. I just found out really, really beneficial. beneficial. The academic part is obviously friendly, really important, but it's actually friendly advice. But I also feel like preparing students for real life is also equally as important. But he did a good job on that. So I would just say those were two of my favorite. Um, so when you went here, where did you guys have like your friend group? Did you guys have a like a place you always went up at? Like a restaurant or a hangout place? Yes, so we did. Back in the day it was called Olympia. It is now where Subway Subway is, and every for, every day for lunch or before games or after school events, we would meet up there, and have a snack or lunch or whatever. And out and it was within walking distance, so that was nice. Okay, so you don't remember your principal. I don't remember my principal. I was a pretty good. I was a pretty good kid. I guess I that a good thing is I don't really, really remember the principal. Okay, did you have any senior projects when you're here? I did not have senior projects, but I work for the parks department and so I mentor for senior projects. 
So my only experience has been it as a mentor, mentor, not actually doing the projects. So I guess you sent, since you didn't have it in high school, how have you kind of seen that develop as you've been in the mentor? Absolutely you have. So I was someone who didn't, who did like to be, get involved in community activities until I got to do like senior projects have been the way for kids that do the passion for different all kind of things to cr kind of create, to create something bigger outside of just like a school project. There's been some really great senior projects that come out of Columbus. So that's been really exciting, but I feel like it's just like anything else. Senior projects can be a mis minuscule or as impactful as a student would like to explore or I'd like them to be. So I thought that's nice. I feel that it also gets kind as a safe place to explore some things that you otherwise won't be able to do. So yeah, I think I had a good experience with it. Some of them have been really low key, and then some of them, I'm just like, man, I cannot believe a senior in high school that they were able to complete that. So kind of both ends and spectrum. So that's been nice. So do you remember how big the school is and when you were here? I think I graduated with almost 400 kids, so I think there was like maybe 1,200s. Okay, did you guys like have like any styles? Oh my goodness, I would just say like t-shirts and jeans. I was kind of a tomboy, so I'd always wear, I would always wear like gym shirts and, short t and a t-shirt. Ponytails, and I see kids like high school nowadays. And they just like they just look so put together and fashionable. Yeah, I don't remember high school being like that. I remember like bib overalls, corduroys, just like big sweatshirts and TMs. I remember having you know just like a lots of sports stuff. Yeah, I just don't remember having like a fashion being a huge thing. Whenever it's just everyone kind of just did their own thing. Yeah, there was just there's just wasn't an emphasis on that, or emphasis on that. So from your email that you said, your friends, your best friends passed away. How did that affect you? Um, I would just say that that it made me savor everything even more, and it made me appreciate the friendships that I had at the time with her. And I think it also, I think that there was like a loss of an innocence. I really, I think it made me grow up and maybe a little faster. I think that other kids had that had an experiences loss. We had quite a few in my class that has passed away too. Jolly Crotter was a one, another one of my friends that passed away. So I feel like maybe that's why our class wasn't so. It wasn't. It was very inclusive and very laid back. I feel like all of us, even though we were in high school, still kind of had that perspective of guess of like I don't know, mortality. We're not to place, not to get things importance that didn't deserve it. I don't know, I think, I mean, unfortunately, it didn't happen where there was anything, there wasn't anything I could do to prevent it. But I do think that maybe that gave me focus I wouldn't have otherwise had. Just maybe were you in any particular extracurriculars? Uh, yeah, so I played basketball until my sophomore year. So I played it for my sophomore year. I were track for a couple of years. I was really involved in Spanish. I did Spanish club, and I went to Mexico with my Spanish class. I think we were here one of the last classes that we were, that were able to go to Mexico. I went to Mexico with my junior year of a group of kids. I was a, one homecoming. I was on homecoming one year. Finally, what would you say that defining was the defining moment of your high school experience or what made it unique? I would just say going to Mexico for my junior year. We did some physical labor, but we were we were in a really small village. We poured concrete. We helped out people that lived in the village. I think it always kind of had something inside of me that I knew ha that I wanted to help people, and I, so I felt like that was kind of my defining moment. I was like, you know, I went to trouble. I want to help people. And I still have that love for the Spanish language and the culture, so that's really hoped. I, I kind of feel that kind of steered me in the direction I worked 
on you know, nonprofits my whole career. I also I've always worked with kids. I have a passion for kids. I have three kids of my own. That was another thing. I remember playing soccer with my kids in the Mexico in the streets. The relationships that I made with the local people here, I just think that all of these things that happened in high school just kind of has that way to make your path not seem so unknown. I think when, you know, when I graduated, I had some idea. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go into education or social work or, social or, or so, psychology or, or sociology, but, I, but it did give me some direction that knew that I like to help people. I like kids. I like learning about different cultures. So, yeah. I would just say that it was a defining moment for me. So, Interviewer V asks, Interviewer asks by, I think that is unless that you have any mescal, mescalone, mescalone. Why aren't you moving? Miscellaneous. Oh, miscellaneous. Do you have like any other miscellaneous things that you uh, want to talk about that we didn't cover? Is there anything that any other random person that has said about my high school that let, that I'm like, I remember it just being a good experience. I'm still friends with so many of the people that I went to high school with. Oh, so there wasn't on social media, so that was very different. I feel like kids nowadays, there was kind of a, there's a history, there's a physical history of things that happened. And I think of, I think, thankful for that, and I didn't have social media back then. Okay, so Betty, uh, Betty Aguilar. Betty Aguilar, um, okay, so I'll be reading her on part 66, probably tomorrow, because, uh, I just woke up at, I just stayed up for, like, 20 hours ago, and I didn't even go to sleep, but I'm staying, like, a 24 hour, 24 hours challenge, I'm gonna try to do that in the future, but I'm gonna be really tired, so, um, yeah, okay, so, even though I don't feel like doing the video today, so I, I don't know, even though I don't feel like it, but I, I just wanted to anyway, I just wanted to do that assignment to get over with. Okay, so, alright. Slide summary, what was the significance of the Battle of Tannenberg? What two armies fought the, at the Battle of Tannenberg? How was the German, able, German army able to defeat the Russian Second Army? What did the Russian army never do again after its battle? Include one fact you found interesting about the event. Include a picture. Use Google search. Fourth slide. Title of the slide, First Battle of the Marne, 1914. Slide summary. Which countries fought in the First Battle of the Marne? What was the Germans' Schleifen plan? Schleifen plan. How are the Allied forces able to stop the German advance? Why was the battle considered a major victory for a German army? Include one fact you found interesting about the event. Include a picture. Sinking of Lusitania, 1915. Why was sinking in Lusitania important? What was Lusitania? What did Germany declare on February 14th or February 4th, 1915? What did Germans do to the Zutania on May 7th, 1915? What was an effect of a sinking of a ship? Include one fact you found interesting about the event. Include a picture. Battle of the Somme, 1916. What was the significance of... The Battle of the Somme. How did the British and French plan to break the sta stalemate along the Western Front? What changed their plans? Why did the Allies bombard the German lines before the actual attack? 
Why did the bombardment not work for the Allies? Why is the Battle of Somme one of the bloodiest battles in the human history? Include one fact that you found interesting about the event. <laughs> so tired, I can't wait to go to bed. Russian Revolution, 1917. What caused the re Russian Revolution? Who ruled Russia before like, the revolution? How did Bloody Sunday even affect many peasants and working my class people? How is, she Rus how is the Russian army formed during World War I? What did the armor eventually do to the Tsar? What type of government did Vladimir Lenin, Lenin establish after he took full control of the government? What was that effect on the Russian Revolution? Include one fact and a clear picture. <sighs> Pardon me. I'm tired as hell. Can't wait to go to sleep. Hundreds day, hundred days offensive. What did the Allied Allied uh, I swear it's all bug. What did the Allied commanders decide to do on August of nineteen eighteen? Where did the battles take place? Where was the German army forced to retreat? What did the German army request on November 11th, 1918? When did the World War fight it? When did the fighting of World War I end? Include a picture. Ninth grade, ninth slide. What was the purpose of the Paris Peace Conference? Which four nations decided the major decisions? How did President Woodrow Wilson Prime Minister Georges Kamikwa differ in how they want to treat Germany. How, what did the Allies' power sign be officially in the World War I? Why was a League of Nations formed as a part of the Paris Conference? I include one fact found by interesting. I include a picture by using Google search. Actually, you can uh, look it up. Um, wait, that's it. Um, okay. I thought that wasn't it for a second. Cannot wait to go to sleep because. Alright, I'm going to be reading some else's story, which is, um, which story I'll be reading? It's my mouse. I can't even see it. Mouse, where are you? You stop going back. You're pissing me off. What should I do? Alright, Kylie Haddix, period five by... English nine called prep by Mrs. Schmidt. Things like period one at oh, oh. Okay, so uh, Kylie had Kylie Haddock says, free slides. So that's good. School by Kylie Haddock. Going to school has been a bumpy road. There has been many ups and downs through my school education. Every especially having. To attending four different schools, even though the school has been rocky at all times, I haven't given up. There were going to be many hard as at times. I thought, I thought as far that successful, I still have earned the re, uh, reach the end of gold.
Oh, sorry, I've been getting up. There are going to be as many hard as the times throughout my lifetime. When I was running out of times, I ended up the road. No, not any at the road, but just about two. Did I read that already? The sun you're gonna have that grid's gonna be slipped. My answer, my grades are slipping because I had to get to a different three different schools throughout my education. I started to get kindergartens uh kindergarten at Richards Elementary, first grade. Hmm. So I started school as a kindergarten in Richard Richards and Montree. Sorry for not talking much, guys. No, I, I apologize for that. I would just edit the whole thing out. Even though there's no freaking button. As you can see, I'm trying not to sleep. I'm kind of closing my I'm kind of closing my eyes just a little bit. I'm not closing my eyes, but I'm kind of am. You can tell that I'm kind of am because of how sleep I am. I didn't really have that much sleep, so I guess I do need I do need some time to rest a little bit, but I'm not gonna put that on video. That's kind of weird. In first grade, I moved to Tears Elementary and was a very advanced student at school. Leading on to second grade, I went back to Richards and went in third grade. I went to CSA Lincoln, but was there from until my fifth grade year. My last year that wasn't as elementary school and student, and I moved to FTM SW in Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana. All of these schools had different style learning styles, which made it very difficult for me to learn. But after some time went out for a year, I adjusted to the learning style and worked every hard to get my grades up. My teacher, my teacher told me, "I have seen you a lot of improvement in you in your school and your field this year. Keep up the good work." This made me keep pushing myself to do it because I was doing well and with my grades being up, spending. My, we're not by not letting my grips slow up anymore. Has a great outcomes keeping up my grids. Up A's to B's every nine weeks. I received silver for silver for his honor roll. By getting taste. has shown me what learning from a mistake reality can do. By a person School has taught me uh, so much. Um School has taught Kylie so much and uh good grades can mostly help her to get her to college, which is very important. It can also lead to good outcomes. This is so important to me because attending college will help me reach the goal of becoming an, an ICU nurse, which is something that I wanted to be since I was little. Something that I learned is being a responsible student can have great, outcores, great outcomes that would be benefit my future. My belief in my future. School has taught me so much, I can't be any more thankful. It has taught me skills that I need for lecture. And, uh, and Darren, uh, yeah, Darren has a good time at North, too. Darren Riley.
I couldn't be I can't be any more thankful. I don't know what I'm talking about, Darren Riley. I should be talking about Kylie Hazick Haddix. I couldn't be any more thankful. Most importantly, it has taught me skills that I need for the future. Some of these skills are playing math, science, and history outside the world at school. It wasn't first school. I would l I wouldn't know how to read, solve math problems, or have knowledge about society around me. As I continue my school years, I will continue to pick up the skills that I. Fucking oh, sorry, I didn't mean to curse. Freaking tired, guys. I gotta show you how tired I am. I gotta show my face. You know, why I'm not talking very much is because I woke up at like three uh three p.m. uh three p.m. yesterday, and I had to do all the videos that I had to do that video, uh, upload that video called the Morning Marketing Codes Part Twenty One, which is my main channel. I've been trying to upload that, but my mom has uh, closed it down, which it, which continuously stopped recording. And uh, and uh, within a few minutes later, I realized that my penguin was up in the futon, and, and it destroyed my it destroyed my my plugins, and I had to do it all over again. It's at, it's actually at forty percent, so so that's why I had to upload it twice. We're not twice. I have to upload it again, twice. Uh, hopefully, it won't hap I hate it when that happens to, um, like your videos go down, like a viral. When a penguin, uh, when, when a penguin just does it. Uh, when you're, when something goes wrong, it just always goes wrong without any kind. All right, so um, I'm gonna show my face here. Uh, uh, pardon me. All right, so some of these skills imply math, science, language arts, um, and history at the side of word at school. Yeah, if it wasn't outside for school, then I would definitely, uh, I wouldn't know how. I definitely wouldn't know how to read, solve math problems, or have knowledge about the society around me. As I continue my school years, I will continue to pick up the skills that I'll need for my future. But school has also given me the one of my closest closest friends, some of the people I met in kindergarten, or some of my best friends. I don't think I would have major I have the majority of friends, but I have now if I weren't for school. Like, um, like a. Like, uh, yeah, applying those things can help you make your better, make your future go better. Makes everyone's future go better, so, yeah. Uh, sometimes future is pretty bad, even though some people may die. It's really sad. But, uh, the reason why I was not talking very much is because I want you to know this question. Um, if you weren't in school, what would you do? I know some. Of you, I'm a, I know some of you guys do homeschool, which is so right. In conclusion, school is important for me because it pl plans mine and other people's futures. You can be a successful student in school. You have a successful career, or you can be a non-successful student and not have a good future career. School may not be something that everyone loves, but to be a successful individual, it's the best that you go to school. There are always going to be awful times throughout anyone's education, but there are also going to be uh, excellent times. School has helped shape me into who I am today and will continue to throughout my years of education. So, so yeah, that's, uh, that's Kylie's story. All right. I'll be reading, I'll be reading one more story, then I'll be it. Um, actually two more because I want to save. Why is my mouse not letting me do anything? Yeah, something's wrong with my mouse. I don't know why it's not letting me go anywhere. I even know that that sometimes work, but it doesn't currently. I don't know why. 
I kept moving my mouse a couple of times, but it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't work, or sometimes it won't move at all, because my mouse wasn't, I don't know what's going on, but I was going to plan to go to attack, but I, I wasn't really sure because I, because I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do that or not. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do that yet. Sorry, permission slip. This is for the, um, Mrs. Huber's, which is Advanced Child Development. We have five pages. Bridge students. Baby Think It Over Project Dates. Dear students and families, Your baby is due to arrive sometime this semester. We understand that families have prior content commitments that do not allow for the unplanned addition for, of an infant. And therefore, we would like to make a due date as convent, convenient as possible. Once your student has completed the learning pathway on its learning, I'll personally contact you about the days that works best for me and you to send the baby home. Once you, once the learning path is complete and passes my standards, please look at your calendars and make the notes of the days that simply will not work to take the baby home. I may end up sending babies to home during the week due to having to get them all in within the time limit. Please realize that all, then all, not all the students will receive their first, second, or third of choice of dates. I'll have a lot of students taking babies home, and many of everyone's first choice is simply impossible. In order to take the baby home, students must be caught up be caught up on their work to be able to come to school and pick up a drop of baby at design states or times or, or dates. Free, complete the learning map on its learning into BTIO folder on its receiver's standards. Students will pick up and drop their babies off from the child development room 246. At the time we discuss, failure to drop off on this time will be a result in points deducted. This is, this is daycare. Real parents cannot be late. If you have questions, please ask your teacher. Parent or guardian signature or student signature. Bridge. Babies think, of, think it over project updates. Baby think, it, baby think It Over Project. Your student will soon experience many of the responsibilities required of a caregiver of a new infant. As a temporary caregiver, your student will care for a real care baby, baby free, uncomputerized infant, similar that must be supervised by your student at all times. Baby will cry and need to be fed or burped and rocked and have its, have its diaper changed. It is your student's responsibility to tend the baby's needs. Baby will record and students will be graded on each care event, be feeding, burping, rocking, and diaper changing and mishandling actions, checking the failure to support head, in raw positions, surrounding temperatures, time spent in a car seat, clothing changes, and some of these behaviors will produce intense crying that your student will, should have learned to avoid, this intense crying can be stopped by rocking the baby. A small computer inside baby is programmed the following actual schedules of 15 different newborns. Each day, a baby will follow a different schedule and schedules are randomly assigned. Babies that may need to be cared for at convenient times or including when your student is sleeping. Your students will wear a waterproof hosp hosp hospital type wristband with a unique ID. This ID must be a present whenever your student is carrying a baby. Without the ID, the, the baby will not accept care. The wristband is, must be in good condition and still on your student's wrist when baby is to return in order for your students to receive credit. You will receive an, a zero for any damage to the bracelet. It must remain on your wrist for when I put it on you will, until, until I take it off. You can help by providing emotional support and treating baby as if it, as if the were real. Of offer advice, by your student will have to do the actual work for curing the baby. The real cure uh, are baby free, free infant simulator uses computerized technology and represents a substational investment by Columbus East High School. If baby is, is abused or damaged or lost while in your student's position, 
you'll be held accountable to re reimburse Columbus East High School to up to $1 million to replace or repair babies and babies accessories or supplies. I'll be sure to let you know when your baby will be on and may require your attention at any given time. Thank you for your patience and support in making this project as valuable or valuable for learning for experience of your student. Baby Think It Over Project Dates Safety re Precautions Read this together, lead this rest together with your student. Sign this form to indicate that you read and understand all the safety precautions that should be observed while your student is carrying the baby. Driving Baby may cry while your student is driving. Please be aware that, you, that the cry may start unexpectedly and a participant should be prepared. Do not feed, burp, or rock, or change diapers, or otherwise baby or otherwise care for a baby while driving. You must bring his or her vehicle to complete stop in a safe location before carrying a baby. If your student is unable to stop in a safe location, please document the mis mis care event in a dare di care diary to avoid being penalized for mis mis care. Location. Never leave baby unattended in a public place. It could be mistaken for a real infant or still in do not lay, do not place baby in the in or near water near water. The wristband and key fob are waterproof. Baby is not waterproof. Do not place on baby on near or near stove, especially while cooking. Baby should sleep in a car seat, somewhere else or close to the participant's sleeping quarters but not in bed with the participant. Baby may fall out of bed in a par of a par or the par participant could roll over it, causing damage to baby and discomfort to the participant. Do not allow smart children to play with a baby. Babies crying over sounds may cause, may cause pets to become agitated or aggressive. Keep babies out of the reach for pets or other animals, like interaction with others. Physical, physical re precautions. To avoid straining your arms, use an infant car seat or carry a tr transport baby rather than holding a baby at all times. Holding techniques are listed to participant care card that accompanies baby. Baby weighs around 6.5 6 to 7 pounds and could cause discomfort for participants with back pain. Do not operate equipment or attempt tasks requiring the use of both hands while, oh, pardon me, while holding a baby. Care simulation rules. Your student must never remove his or her wristband. Not only will he or she be deducted points, but the ID may be lost. Your sh student should note this in his or her, her care diary when he or she had a delay of carrying their baby because of his or her safety or the safety of the others may have been compromised. Permission slip. A response to you is requested whenever permission is given or denied. Please, re please read these statements and sign below. Reality, re re reality Works basic, basic Infant Care Program will require a participant to be the sole caretaker of the Real Care Baby Infant Simulator. Whoa, sounds and behaviors replicate as an infant. This experience is intended to demonstrate up to your student the full time com commitment required of a caregiver of a new infant. The real care baby infant simulator requires uh, throughout the day and night. When the baby cries, it will be there for the responsibility of your student to attend it to its needs. The real care baby. Infant simulator crying need for care may cause the participant participant to lose sleep, and may com 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 and may possibly disturb other family members. Lack of sleep may cause drowsiness. I will not allow my students to drive overtired. I am aware of all safety precautions, and my student must be aware of while caring for the real care baby infant simulator. The real care baby infant simulator uses computerized. Technology presents a sub substational investment of, by the sponsoring organization. If the real care baby infant simulator is abused or damaged or lost while my student's position, I agree to reimburse Columbus East High School up to 
$1 million. Please select this one and sign where it's indicated. I understand, I understand the sign statements about that and agreed to allow blank to participate in a care simulation with a road care and babies infant simulator. And I do not allow to do something bad to the baby. I understand if I do not allow my students to participate in this product. It, what the? What am I saying? I understand if I do not allow my students to participate in this project, he or she will not receive the road grade because of my refusal. I understand my am alternate assignment requiring an equal amount of my work and family involvement will be given as, sub as a sub substitute for this project. You can, uh, you can parents, get, this is only for my class only. I know it's a long time ago, but still. All right, if you guys have any questions, just let me know, and I'll be available tomorrow because because I'll be I'll be asleep that day. So let me know if you have questions.